and now let's talk about primitive data types in Java so here we have primitive data type integer which is going to be for the whole numbers and that's going to be byte short int and long then we have a floating point which is going to be float and double which is going to be for fractional numbers and over here character which is going to be for char and then we have boolean which is going to be for boolean and whenever we're thinking about data types what we need to think about is a memory allocation because basically what we're saying is that listen you know what i'm going to make this type of variable right and you program need to actually allocate this much memory for whatever value i'm going to have there right so let's say over here we're going to start with a byte right so if i'm going to say that this is going to be byte right, like this and i'm going to say my val and we're going to say byte over here and we're going to set it equal to let's say 126 right and if i'm going to do a system out over here and i'm going to say my byte value and then we're going to run the program over here like this we should have actually back 126 right because the min value is going to be negative 128 that we can store actually in the byte and the max is going to be 127 so you can see that i didn't actually exceeded 127 however if i write 129 over here you can see that right away i have exclamation mark right and as you can see as i'm running it spits back that there is an error right because like i said for a byte we're allocating actually eight bits in a memory right or one byte so therefore the number can only be from negative 128 to positive 127 so let's leave this one to 128 the next one is going to be short which is going to be twice as big over here because it is going to be using 16 bits or two bytes right so i'm going to say short over here and you know what let's do it like this right let's press over here tab we're like this and we're going to say not sort but we're going to say short and we're going to say my val and over here short and this one you can see right we have negative 32,768 right to 32,767 all right so anywhere we're good one so i'm going to say 32,000 we're like this and again we can just print it out over here and then we're going to say this is going to be my short value over here right so then we run it and over here we get to back the result is going to be 32,000. now the most obviously used one because it is also a default value right for expressions is going to be integer and integer works like this right and we already used it in previous values so i'm going to write int right and you can see that it uses 32 bits or four bytes and that's going to come up over here to this number right now i'm obviously not going to write this one out right so we can just say my over here int we can say value right and we can set it equal to i don't know not thirty-two thousand. maybe let's add i don't know one or two more zeros right so this is going to be set equal to this now what we also can do in java if we want we can use underscores over here right so we can write the actual values just so they would make actually more sense right so we can start over here let's say with 32 then i'm going to say that this is going to be let's say 32 right and then three zeros and over here whatever zeros left over so this is also you can do it this way right and let's just go ahead and over here i'm going to say again system out and i would want to print out this value right so i'm going to say my int value and let's run the program and over here we should have over here now 32,000 plus two zeros right now after that we have a long which is for really really long numbers over here right because this one is using 64 bits and this one is using eight bytes now the thing about long is we need to place a L over here or small L at the end, right? So I'm going to say over here again that this is going to be over here. This is going to be a long over here. I'm going to say my long value over here. And again, we're going to use the same one. We're just going to use, I don't know, 32,000, right? And I'm just going to set over here long and we're going to print it out. So I'm going to say system out over here like this. And this is going to be my long value. So we're going to go over here and we're going to save this and we're going to run it. Now there's one thing that I want you to actually notice 
and actually remember that these are called literal values right because we're basically setting a mic fixed number however remember when we were working uh, with the an actual integers remember we had int let's say this was num one over here and i set it to 32 and then we have a int and this was I don't know, number two over here right and this was 64 or something like that right and then we had the result right so we had int and this is a result and over here we wrote that the result was actually num over here one and we're going to say let's say in this case num two right so this is going to be num two now the difference over here is that this is literal value right and over here this is actually expression right because this is a fixed number and this is actually you can see that this is we're giving it an expression and this comes into play whenever we're going to be actually dealing with a casting right so it may be not very important right now but once we're going to start dealing with casting you'll see why it makes such a difference right whether we have a fixed value which is a literal or we have a expression